What is up, all? I am Matt, also known as the Game Rebel, and we're gonna play through some more dust today. So, made it to Mud Pot. Sorted things out with Lady Tethys. However, Dust! Look! The water's running! You did it! We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look, here she comes now. Mama, look, they're here. I told you they'd get the water running again. Bobo, darling, please come inside. Mama? What is it, Mama? He held on as long as he could, but it just weren't enough. Huh? Oh, no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... it was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But we got the water running. We... we failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Does you stop that moaning right this instant! You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water run a days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Huh? Did you hear? I got the water run it! Huh? Master, let's give them a moment alone. I don't understand. We got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew. And it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're Dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were. I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy. Because you're Dust now. Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, 
We wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so, too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface, to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Mm. I promise. We were too late. There wasn't anything else we could do. And in the meantime, there's a gappy sheep back here. That should make five. Well, not really much else we can do at this point except head back up. Except there are a few things left in Mud Pot and in the Suramon Caverns that we can do. And I want to try and finish up what I can down here. Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on, let's get back to the surface. Quest has been updated. While you were able to get the waters flowing again and save the valley, you were unable to save Bopo's father. You must now travel north to the Sorrowing Meadow to meet with this Baron Kane. And we will be able to do that. Now while I do have the red moss and I could just give them to her, unfortunately I still have a gappy sheep to find and where it is is actually a couple screens to the east. So I want to get that done and then activate a few more things and then I can finally leave. Because for right now, I do not believe we can actually do anything about the other stuff that's down here. Like, I'm pretty sure in order to get the items in that that I missed, I'm gonna need other abilities. One of which we'll be getting in the next chapter, in the Sorrowing Meadow. But for right now, we gotta plow through these guys. Oh, yeah. Lady Tessa's ability that you get for uh, Fidget. That lightning strike right there. It kind of just homes in at first, but uh, spread it out. This is how you're going to get that 1,000 hit chain. Especially in the next area and in other areas too, like Archer's Pass. Okay, so we come down here, and not only do we get the Gappy Sheep, we get a treasure key. Now, before I actually go back, there is one thing in particular I just want to do real quick, and that is talk to the shopkeeper. Provided, uh, I'm not too busy killing these guys. Yeah, shopkeeper's up here... You know what, I'm on the way anyway, so let's just head up there, talk with the guy, and then quickly head back to Mud Pot. Because after you've completed that part of the main quest, there is a thing that we can do. I've noticed the waters in the valley have resumed flowing. 
It would be ignorant of me to believe you didn't have a part in that. What makes you say that? The waters did not resume flowing of their own accord. Of that, I am certain. Yes, well, we did what needed to be done. As must we all, my friend. What did you find down there, if you don't mind my asking? A powerful creature who was misled by her own rage. Fortunately, we were able to knock some sense into her. And for that, this world is grateful. Take care, my friend. Yeah, I just wanted to get the shot keep out of the way. And he does not really have anything new for me. Aside from these last two treasure keys that I can now get. At least I don't think I'll need them. Hold on. Uh, I should have... Yes, I have materials for him. So I can just get these out of the way. The hound teeth. I'm gonna have to deal with those later. Your transaction is most appreciated. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for them to restock. That or try and find more of them, but I'm a little too impatient for that. So let's slide on down. Yeah, you see there, uh, this attack can actually hit enemies. Ow! Oh, sweet! A parry without even, uh, knowing about it. Okay, I should be alright now. Ah, uh, thankfully I'm gonna get a break from those things, finally. Well, I've done everything I really needed to do at this point, so... Heal up a little bit, and now we can talk to Bopo. I could have done this, like, right away, but I feel it might be a little too, uh, not fitting. Are you okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem real. Pa's gone, and I wish... What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life, he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Does do you think somehow you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. Of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much. Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? This is important to him, Fidget. We'll find a way. This is a side quest we won't be doing for a little bit. Snowflakes. As a final goodbye to his father, Bopo has asked that you bring him some snow. There's snow on the mountains to the north, but you need some way to transport it back to Mudpot. Well, at some point we'll be able to do it. But for now, let's deal with the other two side quests that I can do. I can't do the one with the hound's teeth yet, because uh, I need those to restock. For now. Hello again, Flowhop. Hello, young man. I hope you're well. We found some clumps of red moss for you. Oh my, yes. These are lovely. They'll last me for quite a while. Here, why don't you stay for a while and have some soup? Guaranteed to be the best soup you've ever had. Uh, I appreciate the offer, but we're kind of in a rush. So we'll take it to go. That's a great idea. All right, here you go. Enjoy now. Thank you, Flohop. Take care. Quest completed. Red Moss. So, with that... Not materials. Uh, inventory. We get a new healing item. We get three of these. I would... I'm gonna have to figure out how to pronounce that at some point. But generous chunks of tofu in a thick, spicy bean broth. Added spices give that extra kick. Now notice, it actually quadruples your defense for 30 seconds. This would be good for a boss battle, so I'm going to save it for uh, the next chapter boss. And now... We found your sheep, Gappy. They didn't seem too concerned about being lost. 
I honestly have no idea how you carry those things around with you. Thank you, son. You're good people. Here, have some wool for my flock. Trust me, this is prized stuff. You're doing good in this world, son. Folks like you are always welcome here in Mud Park. Quest completed. Over the fence. So, we get some money. The sheep are removed from inventory, and I think that's pretty much it. Oh, no, we got more of the... Uh, Never mind. Never mind, it didn't keep up. But yeah, we got quite a bit of money. Yep, that's all it was. I guess I'm going too fast for the uh, the HUD to keep up. Not gonna worry about that stupid rock hound down there, because honestly, there's no real need for it. Nope. Well, that's pretty much it. I could maybe go check out that uh, other area of the Suramon Caverns down there. But, well, there's two areas over there, but I think I need abilities for those ones before I can move on. So, I'm going to hold off on that for right now. Anyway, not much left I can really do before I uh, call it. So, I'm going to leave and there's going to be another cutscene. And then after that, I'm going to end it there. So, for now, thanks for watching, guys, and sayonara. General Gaius, you asked for me? Your report, Commander. What news do you bring? Our scouts believe he is alive, General. But his actions are... curious. Curious? How so? He ventured into the Suramon Caverns and saved a village of natives. As I understand it, his actions got the water flowing again. If what you tell me is true, Cassius would never... No. Cassius would never. Keep me informed of the situation, Commander. That is all. When did you grow a heart, my friend? Most unlike you.